Strat CPC means a lot to me. Will you come and see how I play Desi? If you're in love with retro gaming, come and join the board. And if you want a Friday for some, watch him and you could. No problem. Well, hello everyone, Novabug here, and uh, here we are going to try to the last hurrah for uh, my original uh, Model A <coughs> CPC, uh, alternatively known as Chewy to the Bug Army. <laughs> uh, to people uh, that don't know about that, uh, basically uh, I've got three CPCs, and one of them is nicknamed Chewy because she likes to chew tape sometimes. So, after much extensive work on this cassette deck, I uh, changed all the bands, I've changed the motor even, um, I have actually taken out every individual part including the heads, cleaned them and everything else. She seems to work okay but of course there is a lot of uh, corruption going on uh, because of um, the tape alignment and hopefully I, I have acquired one of these or procured one of these which is the azimuth tape alignment tape in perfect condition by the way. I'll just show you to you there. The Azimuth 2000. Called the Azimuth 2000 because it's supposed to set a uh, 2000 board uh, um, alignment rate uh, to uh, really get things uh, sorted when it comes to fast loaders, speed locks, and all that kind of stuff. So essentially across the board. So we're going to go and uh, try and do this now with the uh, cheeky little screwdriver here. They got they give you they give you this screwdriver if you've got the full pack. You get this screwdriver, which you basically you stick in the azimuth hole, which is there, and uh, follow the on-screen instructions. So, uh, and well, follow that to the guidebook, uh, which is what we're going to do right now. And so, wish me luck. Um, hopefully, this works. And there's a game on the other other side to test this kind of thing as well. I've got a couple of uh... right. So let's see what happens. So the, the volume is turned all the way up for this. So hopefully um, this kind of works out. Well, we hope. We will see. Let's see if there's any kind of. Uh, well, we've got something. Well, it's certainly loading azimuth. So the thing is, though, that's well, sometimes the alignment could be so out that even the azimuth tape wouldn't load, which would really be uh, a bit of a cock, wouldn't it? So uh, you're hoping uh, that that uh, isn't the case. Because uh, this CPC is a bit temperamental sometimes. But let's see what happens. So essentially we've got uh, some directions to follow on the book. Loading code. Aha, here we go. Yes, so it's a case of um, finding the two extremes of the um, of the alignment. Once to the right, once to the left, and you find the uh, perfect alignment in the middle. That's the idea behind this. It's just hoping it loads in the first place, which it looks like it has, actually. So we've got the azimuth screen there. Filling up in the old smart two way. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, all right. Load this. Maybe this is a test. Who knows? Searching for test section. Right. So it, it loaded a loading screen. That's nice, isn't it? Okay. So 
and that goes there. Sorry, heads aligned. Press spacebar to reset. Right, we start. Now rotate the screwdriver anti-clockwise until the counter's chime, and then gently clockwise until the counter goes up to 100. Right, okay. Right, here we go. Okay. Now that went round twice, so I've got to find the dividing angle between the two, which is bloody difficult. Where's my, uh, where did my matchstick go? I should get to a thousand. Okay, so now. I have to run the test. Once I found my matchstick to mark that space. Because I just dropped a matchstick and that went flying off somewhere. Christ knows where. It's always the same, and it? You drop something and it vanishes. <sighs> Typical. <laughs> where the hell did it go? Right. Okay, right, I found a uh, found a cotton bud to mark that. <clears throat> now that went round twice, didn't it? <clears throat> so now, I've got to turn it clockwise in between the two in between the two extremes. But that went round once already, didn't it? So, I'm assuming you go... Let's bring that up a bit. All the way around. Oop. So there. And that's the extreme I'm guessing. And now you're supposed to <coughs> load chopper squad. The counter's going up again. So now if chopper squad loads, the theory is if chopper squad loads, then everything should load if it's not corrupted in a, in a different way. That's the idea. So that needs a thousand. Flip over to chopper squad, reset. And hopefully this loads. If Chopper Squad doesn't load, then we got to do it again. <laughs> the theory is it should work. Sounds quite clear. The waiting game now. It's a waiting game. Are you using joystick control during the game? Well, let's say yes and see if this works. Plug her in. Chopper Squad, right? <coughs> Whoa! Well, there you go. I've played Chopper Squad before. Turn that down a bit. 
Well, the good news is that worked. It loaded Chopper Squad. So the theory is if it loaded Chopper Squad, then everything should be hunky dory. But we will find out. So that is uh, basically. Just turn that down a second for you. So that is basically how to uh, do the azimuth. Uh, it appears to be successful, um, but proof is in the pudding. So we'll see you on the live uh, ga Amstrad game testing, which uh, the first testing session will be episode 56. So if you want to tune into that later on the channel, and please do and see how it went. Hopefully. That has solved the problem, the conundrum, the enigma that is this Amstrad CPC, alternatively known as Chewy. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope uh, it proves to be helpful to some other people. That is, a, it's a tricky little thing to do that, uh, especially when you've got to flip around uh, 360 degrees as well. But it does say that in the manual that you might have to do that. You might have to spin around uh, at once, uh, at least a, at least one sort of uh, revolution uh, before you can align. But it seems to have worked. Fingers crossed. Novabug out. Hey, Novabug here. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please support the channel by liking and commenting, and of course subscribing if you haven't already done. If you would like to support me further, please consider joining my bug army via Patreon. And also don't forget to follow me over at Facebook, Twitter, BitChute and Twitch. Finally, a special mention to my bug army generals, Sam M and Sweet Nanook. Thank you everyone for supporting me, Novabug, out.